Hi guys and welcome back. What a crazy day. So it looks right now that we might have hit the bottom, um, but we also have to be still a little bit cautious here. So I definitely going to talk about this today. So definitely stick here with us. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and also activate the notification bell so that you will not miss out on these important updates. So and I don't want to waste here any more time because I am uh, actually running late for a meeting. So I have to make this a quick one today. So uh, let's jump here directly into the content. So what we can see on the Bitcoin daily chart is, you remember I had told you that we were trading for a long time in this bigger falling wedge here. So, and with that drop, <clears throat> when we got here this massive fake out and then the drop here to the downside, we actually dropped out of it. But now with yesterday's candle and with today's candle, we actually came back into this um, falling wedge. So, and we have actually decent volume coming in, supporting the move here to the upside. So now the question obviously is, have we hit already the bottom? Is that the uh, final low um, in that move or can we technically still go lower? So, and I wanna show you something here. <clears throat> so uh, still here on the EMA ribbons, uh, we are technically still in a downtrend. So, and unless that is not changing, I am still uh, staying here bearish neutral for the time being. Um, so because we have first to flip the ribbon to go here back into an uptrend. So and obviously then I also flip heavily bullish again. So and unless the price is not breaking here into $41,033,000, I remain here my bearish stance. So it would only change. <coughs> That's the only moment where this would change. If we see here a massive, massive uh, pump here to the upside with um, decent volume like we have seen it yesterday. So if we get, again, a volume candle like this one here, pumping the price all the way up to $42,000, $43,000 and it kind of closes actually at this level, then I also gonna, gonna change my stance. So, and another way would be if we actually break out so let me get here rid of the ribbon again. Uh, if we break out all of this falling wedge here and then also slowly move here into higher levels. So that is the only uh, moment where I would change that. Otherwise, un um, until we are breaking here the ribbon, there's always still the possibility that we come only up to the lower end of the ribbon get rejected and actually then make our final low. So we are not 100% out of the woods yet, guys. So be cautious when you are trading right now. So I'm not trading um, unless we have broken here at least <coughs> the $41,000 level. So um, that is a level where I potentially uh, might consider open a small long position that I'm gonna build up um, and then go massively uh, higher and put more into this long position once we're breaking $43,000. But until then, I'm not gonna longing or shorting Bitcoin here for the time being. So also when we have here a look on the weekly chart, we maintain the structure of higher lows. So we had here the low, here we had the higher low and this low. If we close this weekly candle like it is right now, it would be another higher low because it's still higher than this one and also higher than this one here. So there, uh, that on the weekly chart, we don't have yet a 100% confirmed bear market structure. So, um, and that will stay th this way unless we're actually breaking here this upward sloping trend line along the low points. So until this is not happening, we are still looking not that bad um, on the weekly chart. So obviously we should not forget, I have talked about this uh, for quite a while already, that here <clears throat> on the stochastic RSI, we are heavily oversold and there has to come a bounce back to the upside. <clears throat> so, and it looks right now, um, if this weekly candle stays the way it is, and the next candle opens in green and pushes it to the upside. Then we get a morning stop pattern, which would confirm a reversal. So a reversal is here definitely in the cards. We only have to be patient for maximum two to three weeks to see actually what the market is doing. And then we know 100% if we actually go into a bear market or if we continue 
um, our upwards movement and continue the bull run. But <clears throat> personally, my feeling is that with all the fundamentals and all the on-chain uh, data that we have right now, that we maintain uh, the bull run structure and will continue to move here um, within this year into much, much higher levels, create new autumn highs and <clears throat> will reach here a $100,000 at least for the Bitcoin price. So like I said, we are not out of the woods yet. We have to be patient for at least um, another week to see where this is going. But I am quite optimistic with what I'm seeing. Also, Willy Wu had um, posted on, with his NBT signal that the NBT signal is showing right now a reversal. I don't have right now um, the picture from um, the NBT signal. Uh, I saw it today somewhere. Um, so, but also his NVT signal is signaling, uh, is signaling that we are in for a reversal in the immediate short term. So, and uh, yeah, obviously that <clears throat> also makes me a little bit more bullish in uh, in the midterm for the Bitcoin price. Also, Ethereum was coming here slightly up again. So, uh, Ethereum is fighting here with two thousand four hundred dollars right now to stay above this level. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> sorry. So, uh, but yeah, here I would like to see uh, definitely also a strong green candle um, to confirm this around $2,600, $2,700 um, to see here further upwards movement. So right now, um, yeah, like I said, still fighting with $2,400, which is um, yeah not as bullish as I would like to see this. So here um, also maybe you could say yeah, that is actually a bear flag. So if you measure it like this, so that is a bear flag. Oh, sorry, guys. So a bear flag. So the target would be $1,300. So that would be devastating for Ethereum. I don't believe that this target will be hit. I rather think that we get then also a reversal breaking out of this bear flag to the upside and back into this blue lined channel. Uh, so if you want to trade guys and you're an experienced trader, you can still use my links on Bybit and on Femex. You still get sign up bonuses if you use these links on both platforms, $4,100 on uh, Bybit and $5,100 on Femex with the links in the pinned comment below. That's it already for today. Like I said, uh, that is a really quick one. Uh, tomorrow will be longer again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button and also activate your notification bell and I will see you tomorrow.